Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the XCOM Unity. We are slowly but steadily expanding a little bit. Not too fast because we don't want to piss someone off. We have an empire down here which is a um, fanatic collectivist. They want slavery, more or less, so... We don't really mind them, but we don't really want to piss them off. We got some research to choose. Arm upkeep minus 10%. Or hydroponics farms. Farms are kind of good to have. And these guys are ex expanding a little bit more, which is not something that I like. We can become really boxed in here. Which, of course, is also something that I don't want. So, hopefully, we will be able to um, get a frontier outpost somewhere. Hostile fleet present. Ancient mining grounds. Well. How lovely. Investigate giant skeleton. No, we're actually actually going to expand. I think this way because we really want to, you know, get as much territory up here as possible for, before they actually go in and take our stuff. We have uh, some form of alien over there, space amoeba, and I really don't like them. And I'm gonna go and. Uh, you know, quickly take a look and see uh, if we can kill them or not. You are doing some construction, good. And this system hasn't been surveyed yet. Why is that? I don't know. But go there and survey. Thank you very much. We are losing money yet again. Let's see here. Can we build something? We can actually upgrade um, our power plant. That is exactly what we want. And if there's anything good over here, we can just hopefully build a frontier outpost and claim these um, systems here including this one I'm mainly after the uh, energy and uh, minerals right now science uh, will come at a later date although it's kind of good to uh, have a surplus of it Now let's see. Ooh, if you're big. Hostile fleet. You're research big. complete. Oh, hello, research. Coil guns. Awesome. Plasteel armor. That's level three. Or actually, destroyers. Thank you very much. Let's go over here and see what we can find. Alien vessels. Hopefully, nothing. Uh, too destructive. Science ship under attack. What, 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 what? Why? Retreat. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, give me a break. But anyway, let's go into the uh, ship design a little bit here. And we can see that our four types of ship that we have at the moment are uh, Buffalo, which is Corvette, Orinoco, El Dorado, and Discovery. And we can change things around if we want to. Like, say, 
you want better guns. The small mass driver do 3 to 15 damage. The coil guns do 4 to 17. So we, we get um, a plus 1 to uh, the lowest and a plus 2 to the highest. Now of course this also means that we need more power. And we have a fusion reactor. So we can just do like that. And if we add one more, we got a construction focus, complete. Which means we can add a shield and we can also add two armor plates. Research this thing complete. is just a little bit better right now. Research. Form Federation? Yes, thank you. And assist research. Damn, we're getting some really good techs faster. Uh, let's go back to Sol because I want to upgrade our little fleet. And it looks like we actually have to go uh, south if we want to expand. Can't do much there. You are upgrading over there. Hmm. You are not surveyed. We can. No, we can probably not survey you if we go that way because of the hostiles there. Now, in my other um, game, which I'm playing on my own, not recording or anything, I'm using wormholes, and I gotta say, they are really good when you need to go places fast. Because you don't have to jump between stars and stuff like that. You just have to jump between the gates. And, uh, or, not really jump between the gates, but you only need one gate and you can be sent, like, almost anywhere. Let's say, we, if we had a gate here in, in Seoul, we could technically get over here without no problem. And um, the size of that empire is uh, also quite remarkable because I think I have like 15% of the map. And seeing as this is a quite big um, galaxy, one fifth, yeah, 15% like this. And uh, upgrade it to upgrade ten ships cost us two hundred and seventy eight minerals, but it's worth it. Our ships will be uh, better in all aspects. We have more survivability and we have more firepower. And uh, oh, we can actually survey this planet. Got a couple of moons there and there. Awesome. We don't have any uh, continental words, do we? Frozen, barren, 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 toxic. Yeah, it sounds so friendly. Now let's see here. We could possibly upgrade something. I mean, I, I know I don't gonna change anything. Uh, actually, we can um, hire a, a um, governor. Leader recruitment cost, yay. Clear blocker costs or leader lifespan. I'm, I'm gonna go with you because if you live long, you might get some really nice skills. 
It's no guarantee though. And um, yeah. Oh, right. We should do some um, some 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 talking here. They are equivalent to us and cordial. They want to be peaceful, so at some point base minus fifty. Yay. Different differing war philosophy. Yay. And Embassy uh, is at plus ninety-two. We need another forty-one. Hmm. And we're gonna do it somehow. Not sure how, but we're going to be uh, allying with whatever these guys are called. Chaskeran Assembly. And if we can, we're gonna bring these guys in as well. They are the Karabnar. So hopefully, we can get a little alliance going here and maybe in the foreseeable future a federation even though federations are kind of once you go with a federation you really have to uh, stick with it or else it can be really ugly of course it can become really ugly if you're uh, President decides to let's go to war with the biggest empire in the galaxy. Ships upgraded, construction complete. Awesome, and everything just went downhill. Let's see here. Surface. <sighs> okay, so we're building a um, or building. We're growing System a new survey complete. population over there. Thank you. Hark, 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 hark. <sighs> I'm not a fan of uh, not being able to uh, utilize everything. Actually, go over here, build a frontier outpost. Because I want to. And as you can see as well, there are no real uh, have the world, worlds, habitable worlds. There's tomb world. Oh, great! Ocean, tropical, Arctic, tropical, Arctic, Arctic. We have one. And that is all we have right now. Uh, what are the preference for these guys? Tundra. And you have um, also Tundra. How about you? Tundra. And Continental. These guys will be um, competing with us for the same kinds of planets and of course we don't really like that spaceport let's build a couple more caravans because we can afford it and we need it and the galaxy needs it as well why isn't this one surveyed I have no idea Can you, um, yes, you can do that research project. Awesome. Yes, I know negative balance. Wah, wah, wah. And we are building one over here as well. A um, power plant. Thank you very much. Now, from what I've gathered, power is, or 
energy credits is really what you need the most of. Even though having a full um, stockpile of minerals is quite handy, it doesn't really matter if your energy credits run out, because then you're basically screwed. What do we have here? Alien vessel. Construction complete. Oh, hello. We have finished the construction of power plant. Awesome. Actually, what are we are producing enough food so we can just move you there for the time being and get the plus three in energy, which is quite nice. And let's see here. Where should we go first? I mean, I think we get like 500 in military power. And if we do, I'm quite certain that we can go over here and liberate this area. You are now my scout ship. Congratulations. Research. How's it going? Seven months for destroyer tech. And you are investigating gigantic skeleton. Assist research is a very nice tech. Each scientist level of plan plant gains Construction plus complete. five physics, society, engineering. That is um, actually quite nice. Come on. Or maybe not 500. Maybe I was wrong. Which is, you know, nothing new. Clear these two. What? Wild Riders has at least one military station in the system. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, really? Oh, hello. 452. Okay. Special project complete. Our continued studies of the massive skeletal remains and by Joel. Six, I managed to shed some light on how the creature ended up on the planet. There are very faint resi residual energy readings that indicate some kind of dimensional portal existed briefly towards the rear of the skeleton. Science of the Kine Aquiloi theorized that the creature possessed passed through this gateway from another dimension only to quickly perish in the hostile environment of Bio 6. Why it did this and where it came from are questions that may never be answered. Astounding. Our scientist gains 200 experience and we gain also 94 physics research points. That is quite nice. Now, hi. Let's see here. Can we get one more? Right now. Probably not. Space Warp. I'm gonna build one new. It's 360 and it takes quite a while. But also boost our uh, naval uh, capacity quite a bit so we can get some more ships in there. And for you who wonder if uh, Corvette's ever going to uh, run or get obsolete, no, they are your shield and armor of the fleet. They are just there to make sure that your System bigger ship complete. doesn't Anomaly get shot found. at. There is significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From orbit, the massive rift looks almost like writing. Research it. 
But yeah, the Corvettes will uh, be uh, your little harassers and uh, bullet sponges. They are quite cheap to replace. They are fast to build and you really don't want them to not be there. You want as many as possible defending your battleships and cruisers. Destroyers are... They're support units. You want like point defense and stuff like that on them to shoot down enemy missiles. Stuff like that. And Research complete. Oh! Talking about destroyers, we can technically build them. We just have to uh, upgrade our spaceport first. Um, mineral storage capacity plus 1000, mining network 2. Hello. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of the Nigiro. 4A. The massive script carves a large portion of the moon's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. We get uh, plus 3 in society research. <sighs> Robotic workers, we don't really want. Or I don't really want them. Because, you know, we've had problems with robots before. But I'm gonna go with the mining because, you know. Minerals are nice to have. And you see, it's quite fast research. Alien specimen procurement. The director of the Museum of Exobiology on Earth has issued a request for the procurement of several live, live alien specimens. These creatures are spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It will require the full research of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. We will gather these situation log of course, updated. and it's time to end the episode, so next time we'll get some more combat as we root out the pirates that are raiding our little empire. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.